Give it up for my assassin, everybody! He's gonna kill me with that thing that Javier Bardem had at the fucking uh, No Country for Old Men that kills cattle, the little fucking gasket thing. That's his weapon of choice! Oh, so legalize the herb, right guys? Is that what you're thinking? Uh, you ever smoke a big ass joint and just blow it right into a baby's face? Just, just to make that kid cool, man! Put on those Miles Davis vinyls and give that kid some rape bands. That kid's gonna come out looking like the baby from a racer head. Just that little fucking. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, boy. Moms are hot now. Mom Milf wasn't in the lexicon when I was growing up. Uh, moms are gorgeous now. Moms like wear fucking set, like fart glitter everywhere they go in their Beaker and Pilates class and their little fucking sexy unitards. Moms back in the day. My mom has uh, uh, 10 C-section scars and only two kids. Figure that out. And like the fucking old school C-section where it's all jacked. It looks like you got attacked by a great white shark and shit. Because, like, the fucking, the current C-sections, it's, it's what, it, they perfected it. It's like a little line that hides under your underwear. It looks like the fucking credit card slot at the gas station pump. Back in the day, the doctor was like, yo, that baby's got to get the fuck out of here now, son. Get the chainsaw. And your mom was like, fucking bring it, doc. Boom, boom, boom. It's all you fucking got, you pussy doctor. Boom, boom. The mom's just dipping her hands in glue and dipping her hands in broken glass and just beating the shit out of John Claude Van Damme in the fucking corner. I saw Book of Mormon. Um, so here's the thing. Mormons have this thing called uh, soaking. Do you know what that is? Are there any Mormons here? Soaking is... Are you Mormon? No, I just like soaking. You like soaking? You know what it is though, right? Mormons do this thing. They can't have premarital sex. Right? Or God will fucking flip out up there. He will fucking throw a hissy fit. So they do this thing called soaking where they put their penis in their girlfriend's vagina and they just let it sit there. They don't thrust back and forth. They just sit statue stiff in their girlfriend's vajayjay and let their penis soak like a fucking a dirty dish. So I bullshit you not. Please look this up. Fucking schizophrenic Unabomber Ted Kaczynski version of God do you have in your head where soaking is cool but thrusting back and forth is where God's done I hope you're not thrusting back and forth down there no 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 fuck that shit let your dick soak yeah oh god let that dick just marinate in that pussy hole man Woo, I put a bunch of garlic and parsley up in a pussy last night and I want it to seep into your dick skin so it makes a nice human brine. And I'm gonna, fucking when you come up to heaven, I'm gonna cut your dick off and put it in the oven like a German scientist. And the human centipede your whole family together. <laughs> God just got deer ticks crawling in and out of his beard and he's fucking eating out a bowling ball and fucking. <laughs> Did I see thrusting? You're going to hell! Hell's just a place full of thrusters. <laughs> Everyone in hell just wanted to fucking dip the dick back and forth, and I said, no! <laughs> God damn it. Anyway, I got a bunch of pamphlets about Scientology I'd love you to read. <laughs> There's an R&B singer that we all know and love. His name is Usher, okay? Usher. Usher is the worst stage name in the fucking world. You were singing and dancing when you were a five-year-old kid, and you're like, I'm going to be the next Michael Jackson. Hey, Mom, who's that guy that cleans popcorn and fucking jizz up off the floor at the movie theater? Usher? Yeah, that's going to be... This is my brother. He's singing backup vocals. His name is Bathroom Attendant. I went to a music festival in, in Washington State called Sasquatch Music Festival, and the um, the fucking uh, porta potties there are were named Honey Bucket. Uh, that was the porta potty company. Honey Bucket, 
That's a little bit too much sugar coating for a plastic bin, you fucking shit and piss in all day. After doing nine hits of acid. Honey bucket! What's the marketing behind honey bucket? Oh, oh, hey, hey, welcome to Honey Bucket. Come on in. This is a bunch of fucking drug addicts shitting blood in each one of these fucking things. Every, no, you're quite mistaken. It's just a honey bucket. Come on in. Grab a mug of Earl Grey and just dip it into the bottom of each one. I hope you brought some brie cheese and some apple slices. Because all that's going in here is a goddamn Yogi Bear pit. Jamboree. Don't worry about the trannies jacking each other off until they come blood like a goddamn guar concert in each of our fucking yeah, I come up with band names all the time. If anybody's looking to uh, start a band, uh, I'd like to suggest some names. Uh, Tyler Perry's Haunted Graffiti, uh, Mellow Apocalypse, uh, Dr. MDMA MD, uh, uh, DJ Starbucks Wedding Mix, uh, WNHL, that's the Women's National Hockey League, uh, uh, BB Gun Assassin, Neurotic Massage, Neurotic Massage is when Woody Allen gives you a happy ending of the fucking massage parlor. I don't uh, normally uh, do this. Uh, 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 Ancient Korean Boner Reducer is another band name. That came out of the, I, I got a massage at a Korean uh, spa and the lady was like massaging my inner thigh so I started getting an erection and then she did this weird little move to my stomach and my penis just was like Beep, whoop, and just slide whistled back into my torso like a fucking tortoise going back into the shell. And I was like, that's some type of ancient Korean boner reducer. Did the band name list. And she was like, who the fuck are you talking to? You know what tiger moms are? The, the like strict Asian parents that make their kids do tons of homework. Imagine a mom like that, but with like big ass titties. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Crashville. How much you want to bet this dude's got Doc the Bounty Hunter set on his TiVo, wreck to God. Yeah. And the motherfucking, I know you watch the fucking pawn shop war dudes too. I like your style. We got similar DVRs. Okay. Wait, I was in the middle of the band name thing, right? Let me see your dick, bro. Come on. He's watching Cops. Is it just me or is reggae the most inappropriate music they could have picked to open up the show, Cops? <laughs> put reggae over police brutality footage? That doesn't mean he fucking sucks. The intro to Cops is like, you're under arrest, you old crackhead. Boom! Jamaica Mon Gong Down Down. Rasta right. Welcome to the island of Jamaica. Kiss my dick. Tranny prostitute, bam! Jamaica is a tropical island, paradise. Our national currency is the delicious coconut under the sea cops. I was watching uh, this documentary about the NBA and they were interviewing all the old players. They were interviewing. Magic Johnson and Michael Jordan. And then they cut to Bob Cousy. Who, do you know Bob Cousy? Bob Cousy was an all-star, but in like 19 dickety six. And uh, so now he just looks like a shriveled up old, like, uh, he looks like my sixth grade science teacher. He's just like this little white guy with big Coke bottle glasses. He's 100 years old. And all of his stories about the NBA were like completely irrelevant. He was like, yeah, I remember when you used to be able to bring your own sandwiches to the games. <laughs> yeah, you had like a mayonnaise sandwich or a, uh, a mustard sandwich. It was a depression. And uh, one time I was standing at the one point line and I could, I could barely breathe because all the players were chain smoking cigarettes. <laughs> And somebody left a bunch of, they left the doors open and a bunch of praying mantises got into the building the night before. It's leaking like crazy. I got polio on each of my legs. I can barely walk anymore. 
Next thing you know, I look up in the stands and J. Edgar Hoover is fingering my wife in the mouth. I'm like, you know. They're gonna interview the campaign Matumbo soon, my man, cause you're bombing me out. Do the Guinness bro is it brothers the Guinness people? Is it two Guinness brothers? I imagine guys with like handlebar mustaches and an old timey bicycle with the big wheel and the little wheel and they're getting into fisticuffs. And it's like they look like Daniel Day Lewis and Gangs of New York. And Last of the Mohicans. And Precious, he was in that. Uh, I'm bluish, I'm black and Jewish. Um, <laughs> uh, he was like, what is this Puerto Rican guy talk about? Uh, uh, my dad looks like Arthur Ashe and my mom looks like Howard Stern. And that is why I look like Ernie from Sesame Street. Thanks guys so much uh, for the next uh, two days.